These things are shot. There's nothing left to them. They're getting dangerous, so. Now I gotta stop and either cut a new one or recut this before I can go back to work. That drives me nuts when I have to do that. But I had this idea that I thought would maybe buy me a little more time before I had to stop and do that. Now the idea was to try and get two push sticks, or actually four push sticks out of one 12 by 12 piece of wood, and to have them be multi-directional. So when you burn the heel out on one, you know, cutting smaller pieces, you can flip it the other way and use the heel in the other direction. And it also has two tips for when you're using it, like a, you know, the tip to push stuff through. So if you cut one of those all up, you can flip it over and use the other tip. You can see off to the right my original design, and, um, and then what I did is I improved upon it, on the left and I made it so the cutout is the same shape and they become smaller ones that you can use for doing smaller work or for just on your other hand to kind of lobster claw your your item through the saw blade and then I was trying to get a sixth a fifth and sixth out of the center but those are just way too small to use safely now uh, let's see if they actually cut like this and work Alright, maybe not, but it sure is funny. <laughs> How do I look? Well, geez, that was almost a little bit too efficient. I don't need this many push sticks. Maybe I should give a couple of these away. Now I know I'm the reclaimed guy and this is technically not reclaimed wood, although you could use reclaimed wood to do this project. But really what I'm trying to do is seek to minimize waste and so I was trying to maximize my use of this material by using every square inch of it. Now I was shooting for 6 out of this 12 by 12, 6 push sticks out of this 12 by 12 piece of wood, but I don't think this really counts, so maybe we'll call that waste. So what I did is I created these push sticks that are work in multiple directions. When this bit wears out you can flip it over and use it this way, and you also have two tips. You have a little one for your other hand while you're running things through together. And I got four of them out of one 12 inch by 12 inch piece of half inch plywood. I could have made them a little bit longer and sleeker if I had a slightly larger CNC machine, but this is about the best I could do on mine, which is about as small as I get. So um, I'm just trying to explore our use of material. I hope you like this and I hope you like this way of thinking. If you do, you can uh, share and subscribe to this video and click the like button and all that stuff. That would be awesome. You can also support me on Patreon at patreon.com backslash Tim Sway. Thank you very much and be good.